Hi, my name is David Revoir, and I'm not really used to the speaking video. Excuse me in advance if you don't understand my French accent, and uh, all the way I'm spelling English. Very soon, Krita 2.9 will be released with a new set of features, and I wanted to show you something new you can do with them. It's actually a set of features, made for very specific action to accelerate your comic coloring process. So let me present you how to use them. First, you will need to clean your line art or drawing. I will not explain it another time here again, because I already covered this subject in a previous tutorial. So click in the link in the command below if you want to see this previous tutorial about cleaning line art. When your line art is ready, select your lines and then go to the filter and open the gimmick. Gimmick or Gimmick, I don't know how to pronounce it, has many filters and we are looking for the coloring interactive one under the black and white category. Now you need to set up the filter. There is a few options to change, like uh, to switch the type to line art and uh, request the output to two layers. Uh, it will be your lines and the color. The gimmick interactive filter interface appears now on your screen. You can just take a color in the color selector and uh, press the left click button on the canvas to add a node. Uh, I will call them a color node and you can add as many color nodes as you want. If you want to preview what this node will color, you have to press spacebar to ask a temporary render. So this is the, the basic workflow, picking a color, putting it on the canvas and pressing spacebar time to time to see the rendering. To remove a node, right-click on it. To pick a color from a zone, right-click in the colored area. To replace a color, press R on the canvas, then go to the color selector to change it for a new one. On the other option, there is a set of key for the navigation, but you can use the mouse wheel for this. And you can also press tab on your keyboard to display smaller color nodes. So let's work a bit on this artwork and finish it. When your work is over, you can press Enter to do the final rendering. All your color zone and your line art should appear now in Krita and you just have to reorganize a bit your layer stack. So now that's the end of the first part of this tutorial and in the second part we will see how to chain these features with another new features of Krita 2.9 to split the layers and continue our coloring. Thanks for watching!